what's going down people it's that boy Treasy here reporting for duty bringing you the uh, final DLC mission new DLC Raven Strike 800 Microsoft points for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier uh, third and final mission <clears throat> another four challenges to conquer now first off when I when I came to this mission first attempt on this mission one of the tactical challenges was actually completed um, the one for crossing the bridge without setting off an alarm in under five minutes was already completed <clears throat> I don't know if this is going to be the case for everyone um, if it's not I'm assuming that this is the bridge that they're talking about to actually get past this well cross the bridge without triggering an alarm would be pretty tough because the APC that's on the bridge you know how it is with the vehicles of the game they can spot you from miles away they, they seem to automatically start detecting you when you get anywhere near to them so maybe you know Ubisoft have looked at the situation again and thought oh, man we've made a mistake there just cross it off for him if not um, I'm more than willing to put up a separate video for that specific challenge um, but to me it looks near impossible could be wrong you know drop a comment let me, let me know what the uh, situation if, is if it's different for anyone else and I'll uh, make arrangements to deal with it um, so as for now for me personally I only had the three challenges to focus on so overall pretty easy mission the weapon challenge itself is pistol pistolero um, using a pistol kill 10 consecutive enemies without missing <clears throat> I get that done as soon as I can um, wolf hunter uh, the HVTs we need to kill in this mission you need to kill them without being taken out by a sniper pretty easy to be fair because obviously each time you come to a new area you're looking around you're seeing where enemies are set up, where enemies are located, you'll see the snipers sticking out like sore thumbs on rooftops and whatnot. So you just make sure you include them with, you know, your potential first four guys that you're going to take out, or two or three, whatever. Um, and the last challenge, eyes in the dark. You need to finish the mission without activating your night vision view. Now that's a simple challenge but it it mainly comes down to self-control it's, it's a habit it's gonna be a habit for most people just to quickly press down sometimes for no reason you know what I mean and the night vision view obviously it does come in use uh, and it would have been seriously handy in in this mission hence why it's probably a challenge but you can't put it I can't put it any simpler than that you know what I mean just don't press down and, and make do without the night view obviously to substitute that to kind of replace that the drones your best friend really um, for looking around each area and seeing where enemies are located and whatnot so for this first part this first HVT is located behind the APC um, you guys are more than capable enough of taking him out this then leaves you the time you know to to plan your attack basically because even if you're able to take out all the guys without being spotted um, you know because you can shoot the HVT kill the guys around the APC and um, it, it still doesn't class like the area is secure because obviously the APC is still you know operational so with that said it, it, it kind of makes it impossible to technically get across the bridge without being spotted you know what I mean um, so what I do here is place the drone, well obviously use the drone at first to spot everyone get your squad involved with uh, the the synchronized shots ready to take out the guys um, and then using the AP Jesus Christ using your drones sonic pulse attack that kind of disables the APC and then straight away you can just throw all your grenades at it um, if you're quick enough to switch from the drone back to your own character you'll be able to kill the guys who jump out of the APC um, by that time though you know the rest of the squad will be there they, they pretty much efficiently take care of the enemies who come out of the APC once the APC is destroyed and the area is clear 
it will let you progress uh, to the next section. Now, the video itself, pretty long, almost half hour or so. I'm going to drop the commentary here, uh, let the video do the talking, so to speak, and then pick up the commentary in the next section. Visual on two more. Nine o'clock. I'm back. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much. But anyway, when you're on the top of this building, obviously, you can clearly see where the snipers are. They're in like their own watchtowers and whatnot. Just make sure those guys don't shoot you. Get the shot on them before they even s detect your team. Um, you breach this window. Obviously, you can see that I was uh, messing up against the guy right next to me. But regardless, just get straight into cover as soon as you regain proper control of your character and then when you're in this area you can see you got the vehicle on the left and the turret in the middle of the area obviously you can you can just shoot these with normal um, you know normal bullets because um, there'll be a few situations where you've, you've probably run out of grenades you might have an EMP but 
sometimes they don't always seem to do the trick. The HPT, he got eliminated there. He's not going anywhere, he's not going to escape. He's, he's just pretty much just part of the normal battle. As soon as he's dealt with, clear up the area. Obviously, when while the cursor is saying secure the orange dot, that means all enemies are needed eliminating in the area as soon as you've cleared the last one it's time to move up and then after this section you'll be walking through the street you'll go underground take a knee as ghost lead says um get your equipment and whatnot and then go back outside into the action um where i'll pick up the commentary again guys so i hope you're making good progress so far so far through this uh, mission now the end of this mission for me seemed to be i don't know a bit buggy um this part just be careful of obviously the sniper there there's a sniper in the building there's an apc on the road and soldiers spawn to the left side of the screen you'll see the turret in the background there Soldiers spawn and run to that turret, but you won't you won't see him spawn. You've got to you've got to watch your own back in that situation. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I, I I died when I got up to this part first. Obviously reloaded checkpoint, came into this section again, and I wanted to line soldiers up like you do with the synchronized shots and whatnot. But every time I put the cursor on the soldier, my guys are screaming at the rest of the team to attack him as if we'd already been spotted I take cover on this block here see the soldier to my left go for a quick stealth kill thinking nothing of it as soon as I kill him I'm like auto detected it doesn't even say I'm detected APC's just all over me like he already knew I was there and all hell breaks loose so I don't know if that's going to be the same case for anybody else but just just be wary of that um, regardless it's probably going to end up in a loud fire fight anywhere but it's this corner this is what caught me out at first I was just focusing forward on the HVT the sniper in the building the APC stuff like that didn't bother looking behind me and got caught out by those guys who spawn on this side of the area so once the corner is clear and you're left in peace take out the HVT again just treat him like you know any other enemy soldier on the battlefield in this area and then more than likely the last thing you'll have to deal with is the APC um, really annoying I mean it probably didn't help that I've probably not put the best equipment on grenade you know EM, EMP wise but there's, there's not really that much to choose from I mean you, 
you've got grenades, EMPs, small grenades, uh, sensors. There's nothing else supremely explosive you can use against the, uh, well, in this case, the BTR. You know what I mean? And another annoying thing is the team doesn't seem to help out, even though you've blatantly designated the BTR as an enemy vehicle and you want them to attack it, they just don't seem to do anything and you're just left to deal with it by yourself. As you can see in this situation, uh, it's not too bad, I had some grenades to throw at it and it only needs, you know, a few more clips of the 417 or whatever weapon you might be carrying and it's dealt with. But the main thing that did my head in, when it comes to the last part, as I mentioned earlier, you've got the BTR, the APC, and a turret behind it and I didn't have any grenades at the time there's a sniper you'll see initially as you come in that area with a with ladder access to where he is there's a weapon box at the top of that section now personally I thought weapon boxes were just for you know changing weapons not refilling the ones you already had might have been common sense might not but obviously they do do the separate ammo boxes as well so when I went to the weapon box I took out the sniper started shooting at the BTR in the distance chipping away at its health because that was like kind of my only option at the time my team wasn't moving it wasn't helping me at all so eventually I ran out of ammo again and I thought I was stuck so I went back to the weapon box to take my pistol back out the pistol had full ammo my 417 had full ammo and my grenades had been refilled so just a note for you there save you a bit of time you know, I, I I had to take the uh, old school approach, should I say, to destroy it. Really annoying. But once the BTR and the turret is clear, you're moving to the last section. A few more guys to take out. No more enemy vehicles or anything like that. And you just walk over to the extraction point. Mission complete. Challenge complete. So long as you didn't accidentally activate your uh, night vision. And you'll get all your achievements. Um, you'll get the achievement of completing all of the challenges, all of the tactical challenges. Um, another achievement for, for completing each map on elite difficulty. And you already would have got the other story related secret achievement part way through this mission once you eliminate. Well, you will get that once you eliminate the fourth HVT. So that'll be all for me guys. Um, the last part of the video, I've cut the bit out where I spent about 10 or 15 minutes just shooting the enemy vehicle and the turret because nobody wants to see that. Um, and then it just goes, it, I show you myself destroying the vehicles and then it just moves on to the last section and then that's it. So, you know what I mean? I hope all, all the videos have helped you guys out. It's been nice to make these videos again i hope the uh, sound quality has been okay um if the videos have helped you you know drop a like make them your favorite subscribe to the channel always doing something different over here and hopefully i'll see you guys again in the future thank you very much guys
Overlord Hunter. We'll take it if we can get it. One way or another, he's going down. I've got four more hostiles here. On the right. I'm moving. They got a truck over here. Mark two. We got an APC to deal with. On you. On your word. He's down. Overlord, this is Hunter. Kuzmin is dead. Repeat, target four is down. Outstanding work, Hunter. Twisting is en route now. Head for the rally. Careful, they got turrets. authorized over there. Take that! 
Target! 